In my classroom, you'll walk in and you'll see picture frames. And in those picture frames, there are photos of students with their families. Family representation is important with every child, but in early childhood, this is really their first experience outside of the home. We want students to feel comfortable. We want students to feel loved. And when they see their family, they have a sense of home. I can explore more because it feels like my family's close by. Mine is, is Collaboration amongst teachers is really important at GEMS. We have 10 of each desk in here. The other preschool teachers and I, we constantly communicate about how students are doing, where students are engaging, so that we can support their interests. When children are learning while they're doing, they are using their senses and touching. More neurons are firing in their brains. First thing is the switch. Hands-on learning, studies have shown, is a great way for kids to learn. Oh my god! A lot of what we're trying to do is teaching children how to be part of the global community. It's set, go! One, two, as part of the International Baccalaureate Program, we have goals that we have for the students. We promote students to be knowledgeable, caring, inquirers, and thinkers to get them prepared to be part of a larger community. The International Baccalaureate is a framework where we really focus on what it means to be a global citizen and how to take action and be able to make change in the world. Something that's special about GEMS that really helps us stand out from other schools is our location. Being here, right in the middle of the city of Chicago, really gives us an opportunity to utilize our field study program and connect with community members and experts around us to help extend the learning of the classroom. Look who came to school today, Sophia, Sophia. Look who came to school today, Sophia came to school. Sophia. In our early education program, our teachers do an incredible job of tapping into the innate curiosity of these really young learners. And they feel very much a part of what they're doing, and they don't really view it as learning in the kind of traditional sense. All right, Chloe, let's go, Chloe. They just view it as something that they do that is so organic and so natural and so inspirational, really. start off a new unit, we actually ask them, what are some questions that you have about this topic or this theme? So what should it be? We use that to create our lesson plans versus just pulling it out of a book. Good, 150. Okay, clear your boards. We want to help them answer their own questions by doing research projects, looking things up, using literature, using their community, asking their peers. All right, my friends, find your partner so you can get your map and your clipboard. As a staff, we really believe in student agency, developing students' independence, and being able to give them autonomy. Where's path number three? So it's somewhere over there. They can take something that seems like a very abstract theme or idea and they get to make it a little more concrete. The students are able to visualize, they're able to create, and then they're able to explain. Let's go check the top. It's right in the middle of the path. Our lower school teachers are really amazing at tapping into the natural curiosity of our students. We have workbook pages, packet, it's the commitment to each one of those students as individuals that helps our students to be successful. One, two, three. Down. It's part of this experiential learning that's happening. It's three down, three up. Three down, three up. That's a pattern. Our students are able to really get a lot of hands-on learning, which is what's so fantastic about the IB curriculum. The International Baccalaureate is a framework where we really focus on inquiry. And you're doing multiples of five, right? Yes. You're doing five. Yeah. Okay. We develop students' understanding of how to be a better person, what it means to be a global citizen. We know that in order for students to be good global citizens, it's really important that they're good local citizens first. To achieve that objective, we've developed the Chicago curriculum which is a way for our students to really get to know, to understand the city of Chicago and how it works. 
So we're in the heart of downtown Chicago. We're able to have the city at our hands and to use it as a huge learning tool. With that framework, they will have the understanding of any city, any location they might live, work, or study later in life. 340. GEMS is an amazing place to learn and to just be a part of a huge family and community that is supportive. GEMS is a learning community where our students, our faculty, and our parents all are so invested in the success of what we're doing. And we hope that you'll consider being a part of that as well. We've been learning about the Civil War. How sailboats stay up, like we learned about buoyancy. The way that feminism may have changed like over time period. Certain like human rights issues. How globalization has affected hard power, soft power, and state sovereignty. Our classrooms are really dynamic. Kids are often presenting, they're investigating. The minority might not be someone who's brown anymore, it might be the other way. They're always taking their knowledge and then applying it to the next level, which is the so what, now what am I gonna do? Miss Jayanna Dure, she's one of those teachers who makes you want to do better, not only for her, but for yourself. What shape did you manipulate the wire into? One of the things that our middle school and high school teachers do incredibly well is creating a learning environment where our students just feel so comfortable and willing to take risks without fear of making mistakes or of being judged. The teachers especially, they want to make you better as not only a student, but as a citizen of the world. There is no other school that has this kind of a location in Chicago. The Chicago curriculum is essentially the idea of bringing as much of the city of Chicago into our classrooms. Being close to the water, being close to the river, having access to the trains, um, going on field experiences. We can walk to the Field Museum, walk to the Art Institute, walk to the Shedd Aquarium. It's one of the best places you can attend school. Why is it important that we're able to extract DNA? Natalie. We offer an international baccalaureate curriculum. An IB curriculum just kind of looks at ways that we can solve problems on local levels and tie that into international perception. Dr. Hurst is very like direct teaching style. I can understand science more than I used to. I enjoy it very much and she's one of my personal favorite teachers. Our students speak as many as 40 different languages at home. So we have this rich cultural diversity. We have ethnic and racial diversity as well. We have socioeconomic diversity. This school is a, a wonderful reflection of the city of Chicago. That's always a good thing, being exposed to like new types of people from different walks of life who you normally wouldn't interact with. Since we're a smaller school, we kind of have that like closer familial relationship, and I think that's really important. The school has really helped me grow and be a more open-minded person. And who's going to be the leaders of these movies? Hopefully you, right? Hopefully you. And Academic rigor and quality of education, GEMS is probably one of the best learning experiences I've had. The opportunities that I've experienced as a learner kind of shapes who I am today. When our graduates leave GEMS, they're really prepared for the real world. They not only have the skills they need to write and read and um, to think, but they have a confidence that they've built here, that they're really sure of who they are and who they want to be. When our graduates leave GEMS, they are more prepared than most other students I've had the pleasure of teaching to go out into the world and make a difference. We're not sure what the students are gonna need in the 21st century. We can't be certain in a time of uncertainty exactly what these courses need to have, but we know one thing at GEMS compared to other schools is they will get the skill set that's gonna work in whatever job in the 21st century requires.